My friend, you there? Hey, they they here for me, boy. Back up it. Yeah, what do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do because I look like that milksop there. But tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See. Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Please. Good shot, sir. I didn't bat an eye. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. We're waiting for you, mister. Fire away! There's nothing to fear at all! Yes. <sighs> now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast! He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you blackguard, sir! Shoot the wretch! I'm ready! You're deranged! Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. If I, I must be the bravest man I know. Excellent. Whew. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. You are too much. No, my sweet. Can't complain. Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if you need to climb a tree, but a good conversationalist it does not make. He was always a sickly child, sickly and weird. I have no idea why he followed me out to the West. He would have been better off staying at prep school or going to the seminary. I've spent my whole life horsewhipping this scoundrel, but to no avail.
You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him. Mm. I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! You like that toe rag? Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit me again! Right here! Right here. You taught never to hit girls. Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I stand. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. There's only one thing for it, then. Hit me in the man. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Real steel, huh? No holding back this time. <laughs> They've come out his ears. <laughs> My turn. Come on, right there. <laughs> Enough, gentlemen? Uh, yes, uh, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, <laughs> good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? You are a fool and a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him off? This is getting quite out of hand. Hands? Oh, he doesn't have hands. He's a troll. And that's why we found him here. He escaped from his... Would you tell your talking monkey to go home, please, Helen? He was amusing at first, but now he's really quite tiring. Plus, I do wish they had shaved his palms as well as his face. Be quiet, you hobgoblin. His bottom is bright red, and he mostly eats bananas. You too. Oh, Arthur, how are you? Never better. I see, you two haven't changed much. No, he's still a lizard. Coward, gerbil, mommy's boy. Vanity. Effluent discharge. Milk sap. You already said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sap. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. Arthur, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me. Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor. Good luck! Crazy bastards. Oh my lord! Oh, the fools! The silly fools! I cannot believe they've done this! Come on. Oh. Let's go. 
Let's go try and find them. We must at once. Uh, okay, get on your horse. Follow me. They've been carried down a ways. We can't get there from this first path. Do you think they're all right? They might be. You want them to be all right? Of course. Whatever do you mean? I was just thinking. It might be easier for you if only one of them was... Guess my meaning? Sir, that is a terrible thing to say. You got a favorite? I like them both. Equally. Well, maybe fate might help you out. It is not like that, mister. Not like that at all. Sure. Right. Oh, dear brother, what fools we've been! You're the fool, but a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know! You are a lion! Giant! You're an earthshaker! World conqueror! Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? I, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch some other milk sops, we will have none of it. But I, I thought uh, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! Boys! <sighs> There's quite some suitors you've picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without mm, me. Probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. Oh, I wasn't trying to lead him on, you know? It was just exciting. The smartest man I knew, with positively the least sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's usually the way it works. Good luck. <laughs> 